Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz from Oz Mechanics, and today we're going to be talking about this dreaded heater circuit malfunction code. Uh, I don't want to get too technical into it, so I'm basically going to show you the process on testing these out. And uh, if you, if y'all want me to make uh, another video on talking about the fuel trims and the open and closed loop, I will gladly do that. But let's get straight into this, and we're just going to go uh, into re removing the oxygen sensor, and I'm going to show you uh, how to test it out with the multimeter. So here we go. <laughs> Alright, so after decoding the actual code, we found out that this is a bank one oxygen sensor code upstream. So when I was looking up the diagram on this vehicle, we realized that bank one is not actually this one, that's bank two, and that would be an easier oxygen sensor to get to. But bank one is behind here. I don't know if you can see the oxygen sensor. It is right down there. If I can focus yeah so to get that we're gonna need a 7 8 wrench and I can't really get you in there so I'm just gonna try my best to uh, to, to get to it okay all right once you get ready to take this off you're gonna unplug the, the plug and this is gonna be really hard it's really jammed in there all right all right so as you can see we have four wires right here and we're not going to worry about the white and blue. We're going to worry about the two black ones. That's going to be going to the heater circuit. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our multimeter right here. And uh, we're going to test the continuity. And see if there's any continuity. Most likely, when I test these out, we're just going to get infinity. That basically means zero. And uh, that means that we have a bad circuit right here. Because regardless, even if we have that code on, on, the, on the computer, that could be a faulty wire, man. So never just assume right off the bat it's going to be oxygen sensor. Always test it out. So here we go. We're going to test these, uh, this one out. Okay, so I actually got my Snap-on Ferris for this one so you can actually see the screen right here. As you can tell, right now we are on ohms and uh, we're on infinity. So right now, uh, current is passing through one side, going to the other side. And if we hook these up together, you're going to see we're going to basically have a bridge right there. So to test if the heater circuit is still working on this, we should at least get a reading on here. So I'm going to hook these uh, alligator clips to the black wires. So we got black wires right there. So there's no reading. Infinity, nothing. All right, so now we're gonna connect the new one and we're gonna see if we have a reading there. We got brand new Denso. All right, so now we have our brand new sensor and what we're gonna do is test it out. So we have it in homes and where we're gonna look for the two black wires As you can see, we do have continuity now. There you go. We're just gonna switch this out and then we're gonna get to be on our way. All right, so I hope you like this video. If you do have one of these uh, engine codes and you really want to check out what's the issue like I said get your get yourself a multimeter you don't have to get something 
as big as this or as expensive as this. Actually, to, when I tested this out, I used a regular multimeter. So if you do like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Please keep the sharing going out there. And if you do subscribe, please hit that little icon. There's going to be a bell. That's going to basically notify you when my new videos are coming out. I hope you like everything. Take care from Oz Mechanics. Have a nice day.